what's up guys thank you for joining today thank you let's get into this bullish news because we have a lot of things to talk about but first i want to talk about elon musk who is tweeting about dogecoin being the standard and overthrowing the global financial system now guys this guy has a lot of money he can do whatever he want that does not mean that people with $100 or $500 to invest can invest in Dogecoin. Now, this is exactly what's happening here. The people who can't afford this are investing in things like Dogecoin with absolutely no utility. While if you have $100 and this is not financial advice, you should be looking elsewhere, guys. Elon Musk is fooling you because he knows that Dogecoin is shit, guys. Look at this. XRP. This is the coin that you should be looking at. But of course, Dogecoin went crazy, so people are focusing on it. And it doesn't mean that you can't make money with it. But does it have a future is the real question. Now look what Ripple is doing and look what Dogecoin is doing. Dogecoin has literally no utility. Utility. So guys, I want you to think of that. Ch take a look at this. The proof of work consensus mechanism that underlies Bitcoin uses huge amounts of energy. A recent study found that the hundreds of thousands of computers working 24 hours a day to solve cryptographic puzzles and earn Bitcoin produce more than 22 megatons of carbon emissions. The equivalent of Las Vegas or a country like Sri Lanka. Guys, that's crazy. That's just crazy, guys. Bitcoin is so bad for the environment. Mark believes that unsustainable mining practices are a barrier for the move. Widespread adoption of digital assets. Fortunately, not all blockchains are as inefficient. XRP's carbon footprint is almost 10 million times smaller. Than that of Bitcoin, while Acon uses a more efficient proof of stake protocol. However, simply being sustainable is not enough. Reaching a new audience also requires a great user experience, as Tesla demonstrated with its high quality electric vehicles. Now, guys, Elon Musk is buying XRP, he's just not telling you. You have to understand that. Things are happening, guys. XRP went down from 196 to 155 making a quick dump and then going back up but guys it's just preparing for the next wave so be prepared as the filings from the sec news have shown from the beginning the agency believes that the lack of any clarity of cryptocurrency regulation is why it will prevail then why did they not talk about Ethereum or Bitcoin? Why is it Ripple? Guys, the SEC doesn't make sense. And Gary Gensler has officially been announced as the SEC chairman now. Now something will happen very soon, guys, and I can promise you that. Novati Group joins RippleNet's ODL service. Now, while all of this is happening, guys, Ripple is still signing up new partners. Look at this. Recently, Novati Group adopted RippleNet's global payment network service known as on-demand liquidity. Novati Group can now leverage digital asset XRP for instant cross-border payments through the LDL service. They are using on-demand liquidity which is huge guys now we haven't been relisted we haven't uh, finished the case if all of this is gonna happen xrp is gonna make a huge move benefits of novati adopting odl odl facilitates instant cross-border payments to novati and its fintech customers therefore there is no need for pre-funding accounts on each side of transaction now this is important guys it's about pre-funding. This is the big factor why XRP will change the financial system. 
because pre-funding is a huge disadvantage to all the banks that are out there when they make a cross-border payment. And that's why ODL is such a huge thing and people don't understand that. When utilizing XRP payments, RippleNet's ODL service can instantly bridge currencies, thus lowering operational costs, unlocking capital, and essentially doing away with pre-funded accounts. They can tap in the XRP liquidity guys, which is huge. Now XRP family, you have to understand that XRP is the future and that the all-time high is very near. Ripple's rise could test all-time highs. These are, these are professionals telling you guys. Ripple has approached the $2 mark for the first time in 3 years. Guys, there is other coins who made surges, but remember that XRP is a big market cap player and it's unusual for a coin like that to rally this much. And, it, and it's not finished. On Wednesday, April 14, the XRP token rate approached the $2 mark for the first time in 3 years. At its historical peak, the altcoin's quotes reached 1.96. Over the past day, it has risen in price by 4% and by 221% since the beginning of the month. Now guys, be ready. XRP moves fast. When it moves, it goes crazy you can see it went literally to 17 cents and then boom it went up and it it's not waiting for anyone so if you're not ready you're missing out ecb endangers itself by waiting around on digital euro says consensus exact now he's basically telling them that waiting because Christine Lagarde said maybe it will take four years to create a digital euro, which is a long time because there is many options out there. Now look at this. The European Central Bank will put itself in jeopardy if it waits around a digital euro too long. According to an executive at major cryptocurrency firm Consensus, Consensus South Africa lead Monica Schinger joined in at the European Blockchain Convention to discuss the role of the private sector in shaping global central bank digital currencies. Guys, they are moving fast. And when all of this is finished, when the CBDCs are prepared, XRP is gonna bridge them. And then it's gonna be XRP for $500. It's gonna be one XRP for $1,000. You have to understand that guys because a currency that is bridging all the world's currencies is a huge thing you need a large market cap for that sec goes after ripples foreign business partners there's more drama going on guys they are literally waiting 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 they don't want you to be in the big ride they want you to sell all your XRP because of all the news that's coming out. And then when you have nothing left, XRP will go to at least $200. As the SEC undoubtedly is aware, and perhaps this is the SEC's objective, involving local regulators and attempting to invoke those regulators' compulsory process is not only improper but also amounts to the intimidation and tactic that has the effect of deterring those entities from continuing to do business with Ripple. But guys, look at this. Ripple has 20 new partners while the SEC is ongoing. Now, what does that tell us? That tells us that these partners don't give a shit about the SEC because they don't care. Ripple has a good technology. They are giving them what they need. There is utility, so they don't care about the SEC, guys. And look at this, roughly 95% of Ripple's customers are not from the US to begin with. It's the US who's gonna be missing out, not Ripple, guys. Now take a look at this, I'm not gonna show you the whole video, guys, because it's 9 minutes. 
but they're actually like turkey was talking of, of banning crypto so that's why it took a hit as you can see we have some red numbers but there's nothing going on guys it's still dogecoin is very much up as you can see xrp 1.64 now by the dip we have here legal risk factor beneath ripple's lawsuit from sec the sec alleges that all sales of ripple since its inception were sales of a security what has caused unprecedented raise of ripple as always in financial market news moves the price during the past two weeks since the end of march ripple was benefiting from the flow of positive news from the legal field its lawsuit with the sec and the associated court rulings which is actually not quite right guys when a currency is in a lawsuit it's more hard to actually go and rally because people are afraid to invest there is other things going on guys xrp is the future be ready for that now thank you for watching the video guys don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video